question six is telling me that a centimetre on the map is 100 metres in real life. I want to know how many centimetres on the map represents a distance of one kilometre. Well, there are a thousand metres in one kilometre. So I'd have to times this by 10, which means this would have to be times by 10. So it'd be 10 centimetres. I've got a bar chart. It's figuring out the scale of my bar chart. Each of these lines, we're going up in 5%. 5, 10, 15, 20. The ratio of Asia to US is 6 to 1. Well, Asia goes up to 60%. So the six parts represent 60%, which means one part must represent 10%. So for US, I want 10%. Europe and Africa is in two to three. Europe, we've just worked out, is 10%. So if two parts is 10%, that means that one part must be 5%. So if I've got three parts for Africa and one part is 5%, it must be 15%. 5, 10, 15. Go to a table, I want to know what fraction of all these people are Welsh speakers. So I'm going to work out how many Welsh speakers there are. So I take how many females and males and add them up. So 34 add 26. There's 60 Welsh speakers all together. I need to know how many people there are all together. So if we add up all of these, we get 100. But a total of 100 people all together. So my fraction would be 60 out of 100, but it does ask me for two marks to simplify um, in the simplest form. So simplifying this fraction, I can divide by 10, so 6 over 10, but half that, so 3 over 5. Can't simplify that anymore, so my final answer is 3 over 5. 4 cubed means 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 4 is 64. The cube root is opposite to cubing. I'm trying to find a number times itself times itself that will give me a thousand and that number is 10 because 10 times 10 is 100 times by 10 is a thousand. Two thirds multiplied by five. Two times five is 10. I still go divide by three. As a mixed number, I'm saying how many threes will go into 10? Three, six, nine. And you'd have one of the thirds left over. 